The Aesthetic Anti-Aging Medicine Fellowship was instituted in 2007 by the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine and provides a unique fusion of scientific data, clinical tutorials, and business insight. The fellowship was developed to help professionals from all medical specialties add new services to their practice. Aesthetic Fellow graduates can readily establish their practices as leading facilities for aesthetic medicine by receiving new patient referrals from patients seeking qualified anti-aging and aesthetic doctors via A4M. We are very excited tonight to have Dr. Sharon McQuillan, Fellowship Director of the Aesthetic Anti-Aging Fellowship with us. Sharon McQuillan, is, board, is a board-certified physician specializing in integrative, regenerative, and aesthetic medicine. She graduated from the Ohio State University of Medicine and is a member of Alpha Omega Alpha Medical Honor Society. As a board-certified family practitioner, she focused on preventative medicine, diet and exercise, bioidentical hormone replacement, and the mind-body connection long before integrative medicine was mainstream. As a practicing physician, she quickly realized that a healthy self-image is a critical component of optimal health and was one of the first physicians to offer the full spectrum of health, wellness, and cosmetic procedures in her practice. After over 20 years of success in, o in Central Ohio, Dr. McQuillan relocated her practice to Florida where she further intensified her commitment to individualized medicine by incorporating the healing power of a patient's own stem cells to treat various degenerative conditions. In conjunction with an international team of experts, she has authored over 20 clinical studies utilizing stem cells to treat many common ailments. Dr. McQuillan's passion for teaching, standardization, and superior patient outcomes led her to the formation of Ageless Health, a hands-on training company for medical professionals. Dr. McQuillan has educated thousands of her colleagues in the art and science of integrative, regenerative, and aesthetic medicine. Some of Dr. McQuillan's prestigious titles include Medical Director of both the Aesthetic and Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Fellowship for the Anti-Aging sorry, for the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, Dr. McQuillan speaks internationally on the subjects of integrative, regenerative, and aesthetic medicine for many organizations and has been featured in numerous national and trade publications. She has appeared on Telemundo and Good Morning America and has made numerous local television appearances. Her commitment to wellness, beauty, and successful aging has expanded to other organizations as well. She currently serves as medical director for Great Health Works, a consumer-directed health and wellness product manufacturer and distributor. As a co-executive editor of New You Magazine and chairman of New You Medical Advisory Board, she educates the public responsibly in the best practices for successful aging. If you have any questions during this webinar, please use your chat option. Thank you all so much for joining us, uh, especially you, Dr. McQuillan, and let's begin the webinar. Lindsay, thank you very much. Can I hear me? Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome to our webinar, and the purpose tonight is to educate you about the um, benefits of being part of the Aesthetic Fellowship and what it might mean to your career and your practice and your patients. Um, we, as we um, discussed uh, through Lindsay, we've been doing this for about 20 years because I believe that it is um, very synergistic with all of the um, anti-aging and regenerative medical therapies that we utilize because our patients want to look um, as good as we can make them feel with our health optimization strategies. And the, the reason really to consider the fellowship is because more and more people are offering aesthetic procedures in their practices, but I will say not many people are doing them well. So, you know, and you will um, foster loyalty and appreciation in your patients 
if you can help them with their image because it's something that's very personal and very vital to their well-being. And so we have best practice standards and we've worked on them for 20 years and continue to improve and continue to um, educate ourselves and our fellows about new technologies and procedures. And um, I, I think that it is should be considered a subspecialty, if you will, um, because there's really a lot to learn. It's not as simple as doing an injection. Um, it's learning many things about skin health, um, facial anatomy, um, you know, um, how the skin and the um, metabolism interface, um, and, and all the different and wonderful tools that we've been given um, to improve the health of our skin, the health of our subcutaneous tissue, um, because healthy tissue turns out to be beautiful tissue. So you can offer great benefit to your patients, but there is a lot of procedures to learn. There's a lot of science um, and medical uh, expertise to acquire um, to offer these things in a responsible and um, successful way to patients. And so um, one thing that we have been very proud of is that the doctors that, our, um, that go through the Aesthetic Fellowship successfully implement these uh, procedures in their offices and they do create um, you know, loyal um, and large patient followings based on their skill set. The other way that the, aside from expertise and skill, that you can set yourself apart with a fellowship is that um, it is a certification and it's difficult for patients to understand who to go to. I mean, it seems like everyone is doing Botox now. And so more and more patients are discriminating and they want to get um, quality trained physicians and so having a fellowship certification in aesthetic medicine um, sets you apart from you know, someone who simply took a weekend course. So um, let's go ahead and start and we can look at the, um, the uh, process of becoming an aesthetic fellow and then I would be happy to entertain any questions that you might have. So why choose the Aesthetic Fellowship? Um, this is, it's commercially unbiased, so we are not representing any particular company or product, although we will try to guide you to the better technologies and the better products because we frankly have experience in all of them. And we certify that our graduates are competent in patient selection as we know from whatever specialty that you come from, choosing the right patient for the right procedure is um, a large part of being successful. And then we provide education in both the, um, our didactic online courses and then in our in-clinic training. And the education really goes into depth about the pharmacokinetics of these different things that we use, the, um, the, the science of how the different devices uh, interface with tissue so that you truly have expertise. It's not simply doing a procedure. Um, we educate you in how to uh, competently perform the treatments as best as they can be performed. And, the, um, and then the management and knowledge and complications. And um, this was important in getting our uh, certification through the University of South Florida um, because uh, we are one of the only uh, programs that offers level four certification um, that does assure that we have deemed you competent to perform these procedures and a large part of the concern of both the plastic surgery and dermatologic um, physicians that had to approve our accreditation 
uh, were are we able to uh, you know manage and avoid uh, complications. The attendee is able to implement the procedures immediately after completion of training. We guide you to uh, the vendors and the necessary licensure and insurances and um, supplies that you will need to implement these things immediately uh, upon returning to your office. The other thing that we do is we remain um, available at all times if you have any questions about a particular patient. And physicians every day uh, send me photographs and ask me about treatments that they are entertaining or um, outcomes or, or um, just any questions that they might have. So we serve as uh, consultants to our aesthetic fellows um, ongoing. Our aesthetic training program offers hands-on clinical experience that is far beyond anything else that we are familiar with. Um, we actually have you um, treat patients and that goes from doing the consultation patient selection, selection of the different treatment options, um, designing the treatment, educating the patient about it, offering the treatment, and then giving post-care instructions. We provide all of the forms that are necessary to guide you through that process and get appropriate um, uh, patient education, pre- and post-op treatments, and also the consent forms. Flexible learning options, evidence-based um, learning, and we have an expert faculty, and we are accredited with the, uh, through the University of South Florida. More than 50% of the courses are conducted in a clinical setting, and that's um, in our, our clinic and we provide um, a large number of patients for you to actually treat. Our patients have been in this program now for many years and we, um, you know, so they're comfortable and uh, happy to participate in the learning experience for physicians and so it's a very relaxed but uh, intense clinical experience and generally the physicians who are attending will um, give up <laughs> before we run out of patience. So um, it is um, intense clinical experience. The other thing that I offer and I feel strongly about is that I will make certain that you feel comfortable in doing every indication and every treatment and we allow people to audit the courses uh, in the future if they just want a refresher or want more experience. So. Our goal is to get you feeling um, truly expert in offering these procedures. We provide an ideal uh, environment which hopefully you can replicate uh, in your environment back at home and um, we'll provide uh, guidance uh, for you to help create that. 50% of the program is um, accessible online so that you can do it at your convenience and we provide educational material, handouts, lectures, and video demonstrations. The materials are accessible 24-7 uh, for maximum flexibility. The clinical modules offer, are offered multiple times during the year and so we um, again attempt to make them available toward your calendar and your commitments um, so that you can complete the course material and experience. The courses are developed using the latest scientific research. We update the courses before every course to include any new technologies or any new um, procedures, processes, products that are available and um, we do this to the highest standard. Um, the knowledge is continually updated as procedures and technologies advance and they do and they do quickly. We have a, an expert faculty that we're very proud to be affiliated with and each one of our faculty members has been carefully selected to represent the best in field of aesthetic medicine both domestically and abroad. Um, I have over 15 years of aesthetic treatment experience and 12 years of aesthetic education experience and training 
literally thousands of physicians to this point. Um, I serve as the medical editor of New You Magazine, and um, you heard far more about me than I need to repeat um, with Lindsay's uh, very kind introduction. Um, these are my colleagues, and I'm very proud to introduce them to you. Um, they have been instrumental in enriching and advancing the uh, experience, and they also uh, are available uh, for ongoing teaching. Gail Humble is the clinical investigator for all the FDA trials for Sculptor Aesthetic. She's been active in aesthetic um, medicine and procedures for uh, as long as I have, and she's very, very skilled uh, injector and an excellent teacher. Dale Coop is the CEO and founder of Peregrine Medical and the founder of Coherent Medical and the principal developer of the CO2 laser. Um, he is um, one of the um, people that we credit um, the use of aesthetic lasers with and um, is just a brilliant laser physicist. And um, he helps to guide us in our selection of the different technologies that we teach in the laser uh, component. Patrick Bitter, Jr. is the board certified dermatologist and he developed the Intense Pulse Light with Patrick Bitter, Sr., his father, a uh, principal in Stanford study of showing that IPL alters the genetic expression of cells, making them um, express as younger cells. And so, um, and Patrick is, is a well-published researcher. Diane Ranger is the founder and former CEO of Color Science and is one of the first people to recognize the benefit of mineral powders in makeup and for uh, sun protective factors and um, camouflage makeup. And um, she is a expert formulator and just a wealth of information. Alexander Rivkin, a study investiga investigator for Artifil uh, FDA trials and also um, a frequent guest um, on many talk shows. He also originated the uh, injectable rhinoplasty. Denise Baker, is the owner of Baker Medical Arts and Wellness, and she's a clinical aesthetic faculty member. Um, for over 10 years now, she's performed aesthetic treatments and cosmetic surgery, and um, she's just an excellent uh, technician with all of the different laser devices, and she's very uh, involved in the training program. Our accreditation, um, all the modules are CME accredited. The clinical modules provide level four AMA classification, meaning that um, the attendees qualify as competent to perform the procedures without any supervision or further supervision. And this is the only program that has achieved that level through the AMA. The aesthetic fellowship um, is, we're very proud to offer this accreditation. And what it means is that both the uh, Department of Dermatology and the Department of Plastic Surgery um, reviewed the material and allowed it to receive this uh, accreditation through the University of South Florida. And so it is um, something to be proud of and something that does uh, assure your patients and um, community members um, and physicians who might want to refer to you that you are indeed skilled and expert in these different procedures. And so now if you are considering offering these different treatments in your practice, um, then uh, you know, what would you need to consider to do that? First of all, since you're on this webinar, you have the mindset of trying to help your patients achieve optimal health and that you have the mindset that you want your patients to have uh, a quality of life and, and wellness um, as opposed to simply treating illness. And so your patients and you have already demonstrated that you have the value um, that you want, you know, that you 
um, are trying to help them achieve the best quality of life that they can. And a patient's image is really an important component of that. Um, even if they feel fantastic, if they look in the mirror and they see an elderly person looking back, um, it does actually affect their quality of life. It affects their relationships. It may affect their ability to perform their job. Um, it may affect um, just their own self-esteem um, and attitude. And that spills over into every other component of their life. Um, my own personal experience in being first and foremost an anti-aging physician is that if you can make a person feel um, as if they look better and they have a better image um, that's more consistent with how they want to look, then they're far more likely to be compliant with all of the other things that you recommend for them to promote health, such as diet and exercise and all the nutraceuticals that you may suggest. So there's really great synergy between aesthetics and anti-aging or integrative or regenerative medicine, however you want to term that. These things are simple to integrate into your existing practice. The procedures are performed on a cash basis and they're not dependent on approval um, or insurance reimbursements, which is becoming more and more relevant every day um, with uh, the confusion and the um, implementation of surrounding Obamacare. Um, there's high patient satisfaction associated with procedures and um, Patients deeply appreciate um, your helping them with their self-image. And patients are seeking out these procedures, and the studies show that they actually would prefer to receive them um, in an environment and from a provider that they know and trust. True anti-aging practice models should really incorporate all of the conditions related to um, face, body, body image, and we who have um, embraced anti-aging should be doing a good job at bioidentical hormone replacement, aesthetic procedures, weight management or body composition management, um, cosmeceuticals, nutraceuticals, and uh, regenerative practices, functional medicine. So all of these things work together to help our aging population achieve optimal health. The procedures are most successful and the easiest to integrate if you are um, just starting to implement these things would be the neuromodulators like Botox and Dysport, dermal fillers, chemical peels, laser procedures, sclerotherapy, body sculpture, weight loss, The income potential is something that shouldn't motivate you, but it's something that um, you do need to consider because um, we are challenged uh, today in the current um, medical environment um, with reimbursements and, and with um, the current changes in insurances. So let's take a look at the income potential from aesthetic procedures and I, I still say that the only reason that you should join the Aesthetic Fellowship is if you truly want to help patients with their self-image, but the reality of supporting a practice is that you do need to also be concerned about finances. So with Botox and Dysport, the average charge across the country is $12.50 or $12.50 per unit. And there's 100% markup in this. Our average, and we'll, we'll show you um, some calculations, um, is about 70 units per patient. Dermal fillers, five to six hundred dollars per syringe, and laser procedures, an average of eight hundred dollars per treatment. These generally will take between one half hour to an hour. Sclerotherapy, four hundred dollars for a 30-minute session body sculpture, $3,500 at a minimum um, per procedure, and then cosmeceuticals and nutraceuticals, 
depending on what you're offering to your patients, there's generally a 100% mark. If we look at simply Botox, um, based on the 70 unit dosing, um, the average would be um, $875 per session. This takes less than a half hour in the office. The average cost is $5.58 per unit, and so that's $390, and then the gross profit is about $484 um, per half hour. And so if you calculate this just doing one Botox patient per day, the days that your office are, is open, it's $116,000 per year, which exceeds the current income of most family practitioners um, in today's environment. Average dermal filler prices, and these are the most popular dermal fillers. Um, they do vary in price to purchase them. The average markup is 100% of the cost. And based on a three syringe average, which the more skilled you become, the more fillers you will use um, per session. But the gross profit per session is calculated to be $1,079. And again, just treating one patient a day is uh, $258,000 per year in gross profit. The income potential for laser procedures I generally think that you should be making about $1,000 an hour if you just average it out over all the different lasers, but um, some are more, some are a little bit less. But the fractional resurfacing is $1,200 per procedure at a minimum, um, and that goes up to $2,500 per procedure depending on what you're doing. Ablative resurfacing is $500 $1,200 procedures. Again, if you do really aggressive treatments, it can be up to $2,500 per procedure. Intense pulse light, $500 per treatment or with a recommended series of uh, three to four per series. And then radio frequency tightening is about $350 per treatment. And uh, the recommended series is typically three to six treatments. The income potential for vein treatments is um, $350 per half hour treatment for sclerotherapy. Um, the, if you do advanced vein treatments, the reimbursement can be uh, $1,200 to $1,800 per leg, but that is a more advanced treatment. Skin care profitability is typically projected as a percentage of revenue because skin care is offered as pre and post care and then maintenance surrounding any type of skin procedure that you do, whether it's IPL or laser. And generally, it would be considered 15% of laser revenue um, and 15% uh, of facial injectables, 5% of body contouring treatments, and 25% of esthetician services. So depending on how busy your practice is, um, everyone should have skin care, just like all of our patients need um, certain nutraceuticals in order to be have optimal health. Skin is the largest organ of the body, and it requires um, care to um, achieve optimal health as well. So every single patient that comes into your office should have skin care. And at very conservative estimates, um, as your monthly revenue increases, your skin care revenue increases as well. The Aesthetic Anti-Aging Fellowship um, consists of um, both online modules and didactic teaching materials and then in-clinic experience so that we get to know you very well over about a year. Um, it's created to establish best practice standards in aesthetic medicine and we adhere to those um, and we, um, we teach them and we insist that you achieve, achieve that level of expertise. 
It's conducted in conjunction with the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, a relationship that we're very proud of. And the basic fellowship consists of seven modules. Three didactic modules are available online, and four uh, of the modules are at our clinic with hands-on training. Module one is advanced facial sculpting and contouring with the neuromodulators and dermal fillers. Module two is aesthetic laser and light, chemical peels and cosmeceutical additives. Module three is aesthetic venous treatments and body contouring. Module four is intensive hands-on training for the cosmetic use of Botox and filler. Module five is intensive hands-on training with aesthetic lasers and light. Module six is intensive hands-on training in chemical peels and sclerotherapy. Module seven is intensive hands-on training in body contouring techniques. It's a lot to learn, um, but if, we, if you follow our process, at the end of it, you will truly feel like you've accomplished um, a lot and that you have, will have achieved expertise in this field that will give you the confidence and the um, credibility to offer these treatments to your patients. We have advanced courses um, for two reasons. One is um, people like to continue to learn just like we do. And then the other reason is that some of you may already be doing um, basic Botox in your offices or a little bit of filler in the nasolabial folds or maybe you have one device in your office but you want to gain more expertise. And so if you have a certain amount of experience um, we will evaluate that and allow you to enter the advanced course. Um, or if you take the basic course and you just want to excel and achieve greater expertise, then you take that clinical path. So the advanced courses are advanced cosmetic and therapeutic uses of Botox and facial filler. This typically um, are the therapeutic uses of Botox, the more advanced use of Botox for facial rebalancing, and then um, upper and mid-face filler with the um, more sophisticated or advanced fillers. Um, module nine is advanced laser and light techniques. And this, we help people to do um, aggressive, full ablative resurfacing Aggressive, aggressive combination therapies for more challenging conditions. Um, module 10 is advanced venous treatments, which we demonstrate ambulatory phlebectomy, and we allow you to practice ambulatory phlebectomy, um, saphenous vein closure um, with uh, lasers, and um, in conjunction with more advanced um, sclerotherapy. And comprehensive module um, 11 is comprehensive body sculpture program for non-surgical um, hands-on preceptorship. And then module 12 is a comprehensive body sculpture program for surgeons. We have those two different modules for um, different levels of experience entering into body sculpture. This is actually learning liposuction. And so if you are a surgeon, you will have a um, less to learn because you know how to perform surgical procedures and have developed the hand skill and uh, necessary expertise to perform surgeries. If you're a non-surgeon, we can still get you there. It's just more intensive training because we do really um, require that you achieve expertise. Body sculpture is something that every physician can do in their offices, but um, it just requires uh, varying levels of experience to be good at it. And um, this program is designed so that you come to our office and you do two or three days with us performing all the procedures, and then we actually send our surgical team out to your office to do follow-up preceptored um, cases until we are confident that you are 
able to do these procedures without supervision. And so, again, we're very proud of this. It's a, it's a model that we developed in conjunction with the University of South Florida. And it is more like um, the way that we learned our basic medicine, which is you work actually with a preceptor until you develop the skill and competence to do the procedure solo. Um, the um, module 13 is hair transplantation and hair restoration techniques um, and the hands-on training associated with that. So um, we have a very comprehensive um, menu of offerings and I will say that with people take one course, they generally take them all um, because it's exciting to be able to offer new techniques to your patients as you advance your skill. Module 14 is stem cell harvesting and isolation. Module 15 is um, autologous facial fat transfer. Um, module 16 is autologous fat transfer for breast and gluteal augmentation. Now these courses um, are, they do have prerequisites and the stem cell harvesting and isolation is able to be attended by um, any anti-aging physician, and it teaches the technique of harvesting both fat and bone marrow and isolating stem cells from that material. Um, it's the only scientifically validated technique for doing this, and then those stem cells can be used for multiple different um, conditions. Here we're talking about aesthetics, and so we use it for facial fat transfer, breast augmentation, and gluteal augmentation. In the stem cell fellowship, we use it to uh, we use stem cells to treat many uh, degenerative conditions, and those would be orthopedic conditions, neuro neurodegenerative disorders, autoimmune disorders, um, renal failure, kidney failure, um, and cardiovascular disease. So the Stem Cell Fellowship is also a very exciting offering uh, through the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. And um, we are, we've been doing this for about eight years now. But for the Aesthetic Fellowship, it's possible to implement the facial fat transfer, breast augmentation, and gluteal augmentation utilizing stem cells. And what this does is it allows you to improve the technique so that the facial fat um, transfer is actually more predictable, it improves the quality of the skin, and then the breast augmentation and gluteal augmentation is the same. So we love educating, we're very committed to it, um, we maintain strong relationships with all of our attendees, and um, we work very, very hard to make sure that everybody is successful and feels confident to offer these procedures and uh, we're very proud of our relationship with the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine because I believe that um, we are the best physicians to be offering these services because we treat our patients holistically and again these treatments are very synergistic with anti-aging and regenerative medicine and, and also, it really helps your patients to achieve optimal health and optimal quality of life. Now, are there any questions? Thank you so much, Dr. McQuillan. That was very thorough. Um, we do have some questions coming in. Um, I'm you know, I want to be mindful of the time, so I'm going to address one question, um, and I'm just going to let our captive audience know tonight that all other questions will be um, addressed uh, by email. Um, one of uh, a couple of questions that I see coming through, um, Dr. McQuillan, when it comes to the didactic training versus the hands-on, do you recommend that a physician should do the uh, didactics before the hands-on component, or how? What is the order that we should be focused on? Um, we designed this so that um, the physicians can enter 
at any point and then they will be able to um, incorporate all of the knowledge and experience in offering the treatments. Ideally, um, it's the more knowledge you have before performing a procedure, the better equipped you are to do it. But in our busy practices and our busy lives, sometimes it is best for the doctor to do whichever procedural training or um, didactic training fits into their schedule as a starting point, and then we can build from there. Because um, we know in learning, um, repetition is really important, and so we, we tend to um, repeat the knowledge from a different perspective and in a different depth at both of the courses so that, um, you know, at the end of the fellowship, everything makes sense. <laughs> so, um, you know, there is, we've designed it so that no matter where a physician enters, whether they want to start with sclerotherapy or if they want to start with um, Botox or filler, it's, they will want to do both, but they can, they can um, sign up for either the didactic or the clinical and then um, just do the, um, you know, the other portion of the training when it is convenient for their schedules. And it works both ways. So I wouldn't let, um, I, w I wouldn't want to make it so rigid that people just couldn't start with whichever one fit into their schedule because it, it does work well both ways. And the beauty of the online modules is that you can download them and you can watch them at your convenience. So even if you come and attend and take a clinical course, people get very interested in it and when they, they want to develop expertise and they can even do them simultaneously. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. McQuillan, for your time and your expertise. Um, this is a, a very exciting um, advancement in anti-aging medicine. Uh, we thank you so much for your time. And everyone, thank you for joining us on the webinar. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please give me a call directly at 561-910. 4960. You can also reach me by email, which is lindsay, L-I-N-D-S-A-Y, at tarsismedicalgroup.com. Um, we will be reaching out to each one of you uh, by email uh, shortly thereafter the webinar. Thank you so much, Dr. McQuillan.